Hi, I'm Tim Roble and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. We're on physical build day 63, if I'm correct. And let me show you what we got going on. So I've pretty much gotten this side buttoned up. Got the fender well in. And I think that turned out pretty nice. I got that all sealed up. Uh, I'm using a lot of sealant on this project. Somewhere uh, around 10 tubes already. Um, I am noticing little things like uh, with this compound angle I shot these screws in around here and that's starting to pull this 3M off so it, it needs a, a, some screws shot in which is going to be the trim panel anyway. I went ahead and put some um, external mounts for me to weld to for the, uh, the awning. Remember the awning's not exactly uh, square on this so now I have that figured out. I uh, got my lights installed. Um, this is going to be, um, I'll say like an alternate set. There's going to also be another set it, down low in the door. Um, I don't know what the height limit is. If anybody happens to know a height limit on tail lights, I looked it up and couldn't find it. And uh, I feel these are kind of too high. So I'm going to put another set down low to kind of uh, make sure that we cover everything. Um, inside, I got this eighth-inch birch, and I did the uh, the torch uh, to it, and then put two coats of polyurethane on it, and I abs uh, absolutely hate it. <laughs> so we see a pile of uh, tongue and groove. I just got back this morning, uh, started this morning at 6:30 down at Home Depot, and uh, purchased some of that. So that's got to go through and get cut, fit, uh, burnt, and stained, but. Uh, it's just not that I really don't like the finish of this, but it's the uh, how floppy it is. Even with glue and stuff on it, we have too much uh, push on it. So it won't take much to pull all of this down and start all over again. I will, I will use this uh, eighth inch birch to do like the fender well areas and stuff like that. That's not going to be seen, but uh, for me, a lot of this uh, project was. Um, and one of the big attractors to inside of a van was the quality nice wood uh, that they would use um, So I like the tongue and groove. I'll do something really nice on that nice finish and get that back up But that basically bought me another day uh, worth of rework, but I would rather do that than um, Six months down the road be sitting in this thing looking around and going hey, you cheaped out you should have just you know bought the extra you know it's probably an extra hundred pounds of weight that i'm going to put in here and i'm always fighting weight on this project um probably one of the better things about doing a full-size platform of this is uh three quarter tons kind of set more up for it the rear axle i don't worry about it i'm getting the springs um i'm probably somewhere around a thousand to maybe even as high as uh, with the motorcycle at 1500 pounds over stock but uh, that's still going to be uh, just fine with the new springs, I got the suspension and everything to uh, the shocks and um, hydraulic bump stops to go ahead and combat that weight. And I knew we knew that was going to happen, but um, back to the wood, it's just going to look a lot nicer. So I got everything uh, kind of in. Uh, the the Reflectix foam is is in. I have a few more panels to uh, re-glue, and I got the yesterday. I got the uh, driver's side fender well in and all sealed up, and you can see this. Uh, triangle panel up here is what I'm calling it. I got this other side done. This side is uh, first thing this morning And then I'm going to shoot some screws in uh, these panels What I have learned and what I want to share about this uh, project is uh, the 3m I was pretty confident that if you just put a flat panel on and left it alone uh, It would be fine. I still stand by that I don't think I have any flat panels on this uh, vehicle. Everything's got at least one compound curve or one little uh, curve to it that uh, changes up the uh, process. Um, if it was flat and held on, I'd probably be good with no screws, but um, I'm shooting screws pretty much in everything. So we'll go down and check this other side out. Still got the wheel off. I'll work in uh, the fender well. I'll do final um, sealant. But uh, yeah, I noticed on this panel yesterday, we started having some lifting issues. So I went ahead and shot screws in that. Once again, we'll have trim panel and it'll come through and that'll, uh, that'll have screws in it and that'll work out you know, really nice and really well. But other fender well, I still have uh, one more coat of uh, 
silicone to do on it and then put everything back together uh, we are kind of jacked up and articulated uh, with these stock springs I have about um, well on this side I think I have because of how I'm jacked up I, I think I have somewhere about four to five inches of up travel uh, this one right now there's about one inch before you hit the bumper um, and that's because you know you can kind of see we, we're kind of uh, kind of tweaked and pushed up but uh, I'm gonna keep pushing um, that's our uh, progress for today uh, thank you guys for watching subscribing uh, your comments uh, really keep me pushing and uh, I think this is gonna be the week I've said this a couple times but this is gonna be the week we're gonna get her on the road so thank you guys for watching I'm Tim Robel and I'll catch you here next time.